Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to convert Minecraft Bedrock Worlds to Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is get yourself an MC World file. You can get one from the internet or go ahead and go to your Minecraft application to export a world. So here we have the Minecraft Bedrock game and if we go to play we can export any one of these worlds here or create a new world and export it, which I will be doing. So if we call it Bedrock, for example, Creative and Create, here we're gonna have a Minecraft Bedrock world, like so. And basically, if we have a structure in Minecraft Bedrock, of course, so we get ourselves some and stone walls here, and we just create something really quickly, we should be able to have this in Minecraft Java, even though we have this in Minecraft Bedrock right now. So, here we have a simple structure, there you go. And how do we export this? Well, it is very easy. What you want to do here is close Minecraft, and here we have an extra world here. So, all you want to do here is go to Edit, or if you still have the old UI, you want to go to Edit here, but you should see a little pen icon here. Once you hit this, if you scroll down, you should see export world here. So you just want to do export world, and then you just want to do export world here. You can clear player data if you want, but export world just works just fine. And this will open up your downloads folder. Just choose a folder where you want to export. I'll just keep it in downloads. And there you go. So once it says world exported successfully, we can just do close. And now we can just open up our downloads folder and we now have an MC World file here. So, once you have this, all you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but just go to your search bar and search up a website called Chunker Minecraft, like so. Here you should see chunker.app as a domain here, so just go to the Chunker URL here, and this will bring you to the Chunker homepage. So all you want to do here is click the download button. And if you do have the right system selected by default, it should just start downloading Chunker for you. So in a couple of seconds, it will be done. Here it is. And this is Chunker. So all you want to do here is just close your web browser and you should have Chunker here. Now, all you want to do is double click the app and it will just open up. So let's save that. Okay. And once Chunker is opened, we can start making our Bedrock world to Minecraft Java. So the first thing you want to do is as we have a .mc world file, you want to go to select archive and you just want to click the button. It will open up your downloads folder where we have Bedrock.mc world. So just click and open, and it says world selected. So now what we can do is just do start. Then it is gonna say that our source version, it is 1.21.60, which it is, we're using 62, but it is the same thing. And to change our export, we wanna scroll down, and then it will become Minecraft Java. So if we go down, we'll see Minecraft Java editions. So for example, if I want to export this world to the latest version of Minecraft Java, we'll just do 1.21.4, click there, and then we're gonna scroll down again until we see the bottom, and it's gonna say convert here. So just click convert, and now it is done. So all you wanna do is just click save. It is gonna tell you where you want to download it in our downloads again, so we can do, just do save, and that is end of it with Chunker. So you can just go ahead and close the app. And now you have your world here. So what you want to do here is just go ahead and right click it. And then you want to go to extract. So we right click, extract. And if you have something like 7-zip or rain wall, you won't, might want to use their methods, but this works just as well. We just do extract. And you now have an extracted version of the zip. If we go in there, we have world files. Okay, so this is our Minecraft Java world. So all you have to do here is just open up Minecraft Java, 
and open up the same version as well. So for example, if we have Markdown Java here on 1.0.4, we just do play, and then we'll be able to add our world to our Minecraft Java. There's multiple ways of doing it, but I'll just open up Minecraft Java, and then we'll open up the Java files, add it, and go to the world. So here we have Minecraft Java, and all you want to do here is just go to the Options button. You want to go to Resource Packs. You want to go to Open Pack Folder. And this is your Resource Packs folder. Now all you want to do is go to the DOM Minecraft here. And this is your Minecraft Files. And you want to find Saves. You want to double click Saves. This is your World Files. Then all you want to do is go to your Downloads and select and copy the exported Bedrock World to your dot Minecraft Saves folder. So we just do paste. And here we just copy pasted our Java little folder here to our dot Minecraft Saves folder. So here we have our exported world. And if we go back to Minecraft Java again and we do single player, we'll see that we have this world here that shows up. So all you want to do is click it and then we're just going to be in Minecraft Java with our Battle World and it is just that easy. So here it is. Here is our structure here. Now there is one thing with this which is village locations and other structures. You will have things like this of course but our main thing has been exported. The biome is the same and yeah overall that is how we export Minecraft Bedrock Worlds to Minecraft Java. So yeah, it is quite easy. And it works fine. It kept some inventory as well. It did add a village, but this is to be expected as we are moving different generations of worlds. But outside of it, yeah, we have a structure here. So yeah. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you for the next one. Bye!